Hi, I'm Rick Emmett from Triumph, and I'm here in the CBC studio to show you some Triumph stuff on guitar, uh, in particular on the double neck, songs that had kind of um, entered into the public's consciousness uh, by way of two necks instead of just one. Uh, the song I'd like to look at is called Magic Power. It's from the Allied Forces album. Uh, that came out sort of 81, I think, and uh, this was a Pretty big song for us, especially in the States. Got a lot of airplay on MTV and uh, FM radio stations. So, um, I, you know, if you walked into a music store somewhere in 1982, this guitar player would have been sitting there in the music store playing this little chord progression that I'm going to play for you now. Um, it was in the key of D, and it had this kind of an arpeggiated little part that started the song. So it's, it's fairly deliberate that it, it has a little melody that's being played on the top of the arpeggiating chords. The pro progression itself is just going D and then a kind of a C add 9, C sus 2 kind of thing, and then a G over B, and then the C again. And it's looping like that. So that melody is like da da, di di a do, da di do. So you get that little walking melody. And then there's notes that can be played in behind that, which became, I think, sort of a keyboard little, it was like a fluty kind of sound that was going like. So pretty folky kind of a thing. And uh, that's essentially what goes under the front chunk of the verse. By the time it gets to the sort of the development section, it's like a, the part that goes like, I'm young, I'm wild, and I'm free, which is going to be the chorus later. So now we get a little walking thing where we go to a G5, and then a D over F sharp, and then an E minor 7, a D over F sharp, a G, a sus A. So I'll show you that again, a little slower. Um, you get this progression in the chorus. It's like D, the C add nine, the G over B, and now the G walks down E minor seven, D over F sharp, G, A sus A, and I'm playing it here. It's a different voicing than here, but it sounds pretty good when it's here. That's the Pete Townsend. Pretty good sound. switch next and we can play the lead melody which was <laughs> underneath that would have been a chunking kind of eights part that was like D chord C chord Notice that I'm trying to play accents. It's not just gung 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 gung, which would be boring. You get that? So the accents are very important, and you'll notice. I'm and with my right hand, I mute, but when I hit those hard ones, I open it up. So. It's People think guitar players are all about playing fancy stuff, but to me, this is where the real heart of good guitar playing is, that you play really good rhythm parts, and you lock with the bass and the drums, and, and so that's a really important part of that song, is that rhythm part. And then it has a, that's like an A5, B5, C, G. This is like a B verse now that's leading to the chorus when the whole band's in. That A sus again. I'm young now, wild now, want to be free. Got the magic power of the music in me. I'm young now, wow, and I'm free. This is very hooey. 
shaving. I'm going to show you one more thing about this tune, just because it's fun and it's 12 stringy. Um, it has a lead into the bridge, which is one chord form that slides up the neck. So for guys that are beginners and girls too, people, people, folks that are just learning, um, it's a D form like this in the first position. Up to the fifth fret. So now it's an F over D. G over D. B flat over D. C. D. So, and it was it was the bridge. Thinking it over, but you just can't sort it out. Slide back to F over D, G over, and now an A, that's the trick. Tension of the B flat. And we switch next and which is a standard power chord kind of thing. D, C, G. I hope you've enjoyed this insight into magic power.